Bobby Blitz, Bobby Gustafson, good to see you guys back. Yeah, back. So, buddy. Home, hometown boys. Oh, yes. So, in the seat. Yeah. That's in right. In the seat. The special long, seat. It wasn't that long ago, was it? It's like everyone's yeah. returning to the oh, show yeah. tonight. It's, yeah, it's a yearly thing we really? get together. It was it a year? Annual. <laughs> an, an, an annual thing. Um, let's see, Under the Influence was uh, was the previous album we were talking about, why you, named it, why you named it Under the Influence, and of course we joked about the obvious reasons because of being un under the influence, yeah. which was a big joke then. <laughs> and now you're back with a new one, The Years of Decay. Which so is after the influence. Right? I was wondering, <laughs> how did you come up with this one? Uh, this is, this is um, uh, our, our little statement, our, a reflection on what we see going around the on around us. Mm -hmm. um, and the songs also reflect the title. You know, it's um, closest thing to a concept album without being a concept. Mm -hmm. What has changed musically since the previous album? It's gotten heavier, I think. Yeah? The, yeah, production's a little bit uh, different. It's more uh, straightforward, like the band is kind of live. We just kind of went in, set up, played, and uh, you know, didn't didn't screw around so much with the knobs on the board, just kind of left it straightforward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Terry, 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 yeah, Terry Date came in. Yeah, Terry Date. Right, right. Did Fresh ears. Mm -hmm. You know, that kind of impression. He's a busy guy. I mean, it was not... You know, he's been doing a lot of stuff, yeah. hasn't he, recently? Yeah, but this is his best. <laughs> okay, well, there you go, <laughs> obviously. Different, different type of stuff he's done. Mm -hmm. And he, he just, like, uh, makes the band sound, you know, pretty similar to the way they are, and that's the one thing that appealed to us, so... Mm -hmm. It came out good, I think. He yeah. guided us through our <clears throat> production ideas, basically. You know? okay. Well, we'll be talking more about the album, of course. Uh, well, we talked about a lot of stuff before I let you guys go. <laughs> Back into the green room with all the other bands tonight. Right, right now, though, one of, your, one of your label mates, King's X, here's the debut of Summerland. We're back with the Bobbies from Overkill, the Headbangers Ball, the Keys through the night. I forgot to mention that uh, Charlie is now uh, concrete on the album. Yes. He's uh, it's more yes. lies in stone. Still, yes. obviously, the mascot. Etched in stone, yes. Yeah, yes. he ain't going away for no reason at He's all. He's decaying along with along. us. <laughs> <laughs> all right. A um, couple of uh, questions I want to ask about the album. Uh, first of all, the lyrics uh, to the song Time to Kill. What was the inspiration for that? Uh, we, we basically don't uh, have not changed our ideals since the band has started. Um, we don't walk away, we're here to stay, is basically what it's about. We're not going with the flow or doing what's in or follow any fads. Overkill's ideals have remained the same um, through time, and um, we're just basically expressing that once more. Mm -hmm. is there's one thing that I, that I noticed, uh, you have a little, uh, little boxed in thing here, parental advisory, explicit lyrics. Is this something that you had to put on, you felt you should put on? My mother made me do it. <laughs> <laughs> we did it under the advisory of our parents. <laughs> Uh, we have no choice in such things, yeah. <laughs> you know. It doesn't bother me. It's it's not going to stop any sales on the album. Mm, it's no, it's become a joke these days anyway. Yeah, so it's like, go ahead, put it on, make you feel happy. We right. don't care. It Kids don't care anyway. It cracks us up because it's like as soon as you put something on that, it immediately incites um, your curiosity about it. Oh, what Ooh. could they have possibly well, yeah. done in here? Well, let's go by. It's it. like you know, when, when you're 15 or 14, your mother goes, "You can't go to that R-rated movie. I know that there's nudity in it." You go, yeah. "Oh yeah, okay, I'm going to see Walt Disney." The first thing you do is you're on the line to The Exorcist. You know. I hear <laughs> uh, we're gonna take a look at uh, the video for Elimination. Ooh, Anything right you want to say about the song or the video? Mm. Oh, a different approach for us yeah, this time it's, around. It's, uh, no <laughs> audience, right? In no the, audience, no, right. No audience, no backline, no amps, just, you know, straightforward to band. We just felt that the videos were getting a little uh, boring. I mean, stage and lights mm -hmm. and stage divers, and there really hasn't been too much imagination thrown into, you know, a thrash or metal video. Right. So we figured we'd wake a couple people up and do something a little different. Okay, and here it comes. The all-new Overkill Elimination. <laughs> Headbangers Ball is back as we continue with uh, Bobby and Bobby from Overkill. Um, it's, uh, you guys are very, you know, you're known, of course, for playing live. You've done some really strange places as well. Would you like uh, Austria and, and Poland, Poland and some, some definitely rocking, rocking countries? Not, not places on the normal tour itineraries. Well, no, <laughs> not, not exactly, yeah. Um, when, uh, when are you going to go out on the road next? Any plans yet? Yeah, geez, yeah. we should be out 20, the road. 24th, I think, is the first show. Yeah. We're doing like a little mini tour uh, up until Christmas just uh, to get out and, you know, just experience the new material. Make some money for Christmas present. Of course. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pieces and nephews. We give out Overkill Records and T-shirts. <laughs> right. Which, you know, just a little quick tour to, to uh, you know, play uh, to the audience and get the feedback before we, you know, start getting to the bigger places, you know, mm -hmm. like yeah. in February and March. What, what are you thinking of uh, stage-wise? Is Charlie going to be featured in... Oh, yeah, he's the whole stage. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. Most yeah, definitely. It's kind of a combination of the album, but it's, it's there's a couple little different things we've got next in. Great. Well, but, when you got more to tell us, drop by. 
No problem. Maybe when Ooh. it's not as busy as tonight, because it's like we're we doing tomorrow. Shot. Gonna, yeah. <laughs> 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 gonna, gonna come crashing through. Like, I got something else to say. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, so thanks again for dropping cool. by. I think right. it's uh, it's Kirk's birthday of Metallica. Oh yeah, today, yeah. actually. So, Happy birthday, Kirk. Kirk. There Another you go. Guys. Right on. And here's one. It's Eighteen. Nobody's seen this for a hundred years.